Hi, Annie Bees. I'm back. I know I've been away so long. I'm so naughty. I'm <laughs> sorry. But today, cooking in the hive. we're going to do some cooking in the hive. Here we go. Woo! All right. So what we're going to do, Melissa said I'm not going to remember how oh, to say let's this. Let's see it. Creamy noodle tuna casserole. Oh my God, Bill. What do you mean? <laughs> Creamy tuna, tuna noodle, noodle casserole. casserole yes. With panko breadcrumbs and peas in it. And Oh, hi. <laughs> and it's going to be delicious. It's not going to be the low calorie thing, but I have, too bad, I have though. family in my, you know, people in my home that aren't on a diet. So let's do this. Got it? All in moderation. All in moderation. Let's do it. Here are some of the ingredients you're going to need in this. 1% or 2% milk, some flour, olive oil, lemon. A lemon some butter, unsalted, some wide egg noodles, some panko breadcrumbs, some peas, some tuna, albacore, an onion, salt and pepper, Mrs. Dash, and of course, some mustard seed. And you forgot the celery. And some celery. Okay guys, so I have a two tablespoons of unsalted butter and two tablespoons of olive oil. Because we're doubling the recipe. We're doubling it. If you just want one, then of course, one section, then you just do one. You just. And did you do a whole onion? I did a whole onion. And then about a cup of chopped celery. And we're gonna do it, cook it until it's tender. Yeah, about six minutes it should take. And we have the water boiling for the noodles. Yeah. All right guys, so I measured out about six tablespoons of flour and it says to sprinkle it in here and cook for about 40 seconds Melissa 45 seconds yeah this is what's gonna make the roux or the base. Get the base and if you're not doubling it obviously it'd be three tablespoons and then we're going to add in the milk and you have to stir in constantly after we've incorporated the flour and the milk it's two and one fourth cups if you are I'm not doubling it but we'll be using four and a half four and a half cups so as you can see all the ingredients just kind of like got coated. got coated and here we go with the milk I already measured it out I just need one more cup well you said that was three cups we need four and a half I just what did I just say she doesn't listen to me folks you said one cup only. we need one cup and a half still only half and stirring constantly after you add the milk in. This is making, that will make it thicken. Okay, so as you can see, She's the sauce is getting thick. a little thicker. So we're pouring Adding in, in the, the, the frozen peas. You can get half fresh. A cup, half a cup for one, you know, <laughs> I can't talk. Half if you're cup. doubling it, then a cup, that's what we added. It's a cup. Okay. Now we're going to be doing one teaspoon of the mustard seed. Two teaspoons for us, since we're doubling it. And we're going to add the salt and pepper and the Mrs. Dash. Just sprinkle that in. Oh boy, Mom, that was a lot. It's a lot. It'll be good. It's called cooking in the high. Just mm, throw it in. <laughs> and then we're also going to add the lemon juice and lemon zest. Okay, now I'm pouring in some lemon juice. And here's the grater for that. And then and one tablespoon of lemon juice and one, um, just a little bit of the rind, one teaspoon of the grated lemon rind. But again, we're doubling it. For a little, little zest, little punch. Okay. 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 Go ahead. All right. So now everything's in there, and all we have put in is the tuna. We're gonna incorporate. We did kind this. of squeeze the water out of it too, by the way. Yeah. So you don't want to make your stuff soggy. And once that's all incorporated in, you're going to take it off the heat. And once the noodles are done, then we'll show you and incorporate that in. Okay. I'm putting my full bag of cooked. Al dente, you know what al dente means, it's not too mushy. 
but just cooked enough. And it probably would be nice if I had a really big spoon, but who cares? <laughs> you want one? No, I'll it's all right. One. It's all right. Again, it's cooking in the hive. Just whatever you got, do it. It's better than eating out. And just so you know, guys, I did get this from Cooking yeah. Light Magazine. See, I'll show you guys. It's from Cooking Light Magazine. Let's have a little taste. Well, I'm showing them the ingredients here. Mmm. So you guys can pause it if you want to see everything. And guys, this is so much better than Tuna Helper. So we're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to add the panko crumbs as well as the Parmesan. We also actually used Parmesan Reggiano from Costco. And we're just nice gonna- Fresh shredded. Oh, turn but. take that off. All right, well, I should have put it in my skillet pan because I could have put it right in the oven, but I just sprayed the um, pan with a little pan or avocado oil. And then I'm taking the, the panko breadcrumbs and the cheese this is going to make a nice crunchy crust, crust yeah. on top. And you're just going to either put in the broiler for two minutes or obviously we're just going to put it in our oven. And it's just to brown the handful crumbs and make it a little crunchy. The yeah. oven does have a broiler, honey. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, on top. Okay, so look how beautiful that is. And we'll show you what it looks like after it's browned. And here's what it looks like out of the oven. Yummy, yummy, ready to serve. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say a quick hi because I haven't really been on camera on my vlog this week yet. It's only Tuesday though. Um, on Tuesdays I have to close at where I work. Usually I open and um, I'm there like 7.30 to 3.30 usually. Today I'm there from 9 to 5.30. So I got to sleep in a little bit, which is the only positive of closing <laughs> is getting to sleep in. But I wanted to show you my eye look, I, you know I've been obsessed with this glitter liner in the past. It's called the LA Splash Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Pink Sparkles. And I just put that all like over my shadow in a maze from ColourPop and it just made it so glittery and fun. I just had to show you that because I think it's so fun. And then I am wearing Coco K from Kylie. And I love these colors, and I love how long-lasting they are, but they are drying on my lips. Like, do you see that? It's already showing the lines in my lips. So I'm probably going to have to bring a gloss with me for later on. But I do think it's a fun color. All right, I'll see you guys later. So I wanted to show you guys some more additions to my den. You know that I'm trying to kind of finish off this room. So you've pretty much seen everything on this side um, that I've done so far. And I don't know if I'm going to hang that or not. That's my university kind of diploma and stuff. And then on this side, Mama B and I hung this last weekend. And these are in gold writing. I'm not sure if you can see. It's kind of like metallic gold writing. And this says, I choose fabulous. And this says, believe in you will become. I got these at TJ Maxx. Then these three little pieces here that are mirrored, I got at Home Goods in a set of three. And then this... Um, you might have remembered from my oh, old makeup room in my apartment. I love it so this piece a lot and I think it fits this room really well because in the middle it has little crystals and yeah so this is what my wall looks like. Then I got this piece off of Craigslist list this past weekend and I actually hurt my back <laughs> um, after carrying this with Mama Bee. My back's been hurting the last two days, so apparently I didn't lift with my legs. <laughs> but it has silver details here, and these drawers slide out, and there are shelves. And I will eventually show you the inside once I have it all organized how I want it to be. Then I have my printer there. It will be going right here once I set it up probably this weekend. And then I don't know if I'm going to keep this little area like this, but I moved my tray that I used to set my perfumes on into this room. I figured I'd lay like little notebooks and stuff on here. And then I just have some notepads and, yeah, little containers. Um, these containers I got at the dollar spot at Target, but last year, so I don't probably think you can find them now. And this little envelope holder was from Home Goods. So, yeah, I just really, really love this little kind of gallery wall that we did. I wanted to show you real quick. We also hung up this in my hallway. Sorry, it's so dark in the rooms. 
Um, I forget where I got this, but as you can see, each little area has mirrored. Yes, I'm holding my deodorant. <laughs> Every little area has little mirrors. And yeah, just some of my favorite pictures are in there. It's kind of hard to see in this harsh lighting, but that's what I have just in the middle of my two rooms. So I wanted to show you my Vitacost haul. I'm not gonna do a separate video since there's not a ton to show you. So I just thought I'd show you right here. I got two different flavors of the popcorners. Um, they're like popcorn, but in a chip form, and they're not very many calories. They're gluten-free. I love this flavor, the cheesy jalapeno, but I also got the buttered, and I haven't tried that before. Here's the calories so you guys can see. So yeah, not too bad. A little healthier alternative to chips. And then I'm trying this out for the first time, the Walton Farms Pancake Syrup. I know that this is kind of, I don't know, it's questionable. It's not really healthy for you, but the calories are only zero calories and everyone raves about these on Instagram of people that are doing lower calorie diets. So, and I love my having Eggo waffles in the morning. So I'm gonna try it out. It probably tastes like crap, but we'll see. And then I got some more of my vitamin D3 mini gels. I love this because they're really small pills and I get a lot of vitamin D. I'm very deficient in this. So I actually probably need to take two of these a day um, to help with my deficiency at the moment. And then I also got a box of the complete cookies. I haven't had these probably in over a month and I've missed them so much. Um, I usually get the double chocolate, but the regular chocolate chip has been my favorite lately. So I got a whole big box of those. And if you haven't heard of these before, they're amazing. They have 16 grams of protein. No, there's eight grams of fiber, no eggs, dairy, soy, non-GMO, and they're vegan. And actually they're really huge. So half of a cookie is a serving. You can have a full one if you want. They'll just have more calories that way. But here is what the calories are for a half. So yeah, yummy, yummy. Hey guys, so don't mind my crazy hair because I washed it just now like and blow dry it so it's all fuzzy and I have no makeup on. I'm just kind of laying on my sofa right now but I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about The Bachelorette. I just watched it and I freaking love JoJo. She's gorgeous and I really wanted Ben to pick her um, on The Bachelor last season but I'm really happy for her to be The Bachelorette. And so my favorite out the gate was, I'm so like uncomfortable, sorry. Um, out the gate was Jordan. Oh my God. First of all, he's so freaking confident, but not in a cocky way. And he's kind of like aggressive and I like that. <laughs> and he's just really cute. So I really like him. And then I also really like the guy, I don't remember his name, but he takes care of his two brothers and he has this really amazing smile, like white, amazing teeth. He's really sweet, and I like him too. So those are probably my top two at the moment. But we'll see as time goes by what I think. It looks like Jordan's going to get a hard time going forward, though. Who's that crazy, like, um, guy that's very, like, um, scary? I can't think of his name. He has the beard, and he's very vocal and very aggressive in a bad way. And it looks like him and Jordan are not going to get along. A little too much testosterone, I think. A little bit too much. He like punches a door. What's wrong with you? Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> I like how I was going like this like, the whole time. <laughs> so I'm about to go get my nails done. Look how horrible they are. They are so grown out. Oh, so bad. So this is the before. And here are my nails after. This color is called lilac season from dnd &D. don't mind that still that cut that i got from mac pro longwear healing it's doing a little better <laughs> but it looks horrible but anyways there's my new nails i love it it's a fun color hey guys so i just got my order from too faced um for some reason i'm not in the cool people club with too faced anymore for some reason I don't know, but I didn't get some <laughs> a little, little bit of sadness for me that I didn't get sent these amazing key 
sunglass collab with Too Faced. They're so beautiful. They have this, obviously it's like a gold mirrored lens and then a really beautiful like baby pink cat eye design. I love this. And it says key on one side and Too Faced on the other. So because I wasn't a part of the Cool People's Club and didn't get them sent to me, I decided to buy them my damn self because I love them. And they came with a super cute light pink case too. It's like a very soft material. And it says Key and Too Faced on it as well. And it's one of those like ones that you pop open like that. So yeah, I think they're super cute. Really love them. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bronzer that I ended up getting as well. Okay, and here's the bronzer that I got with it because it was like essentially almost free, the bronzer. Because it was like you got one bronzer and the sunglasses for like $60, I think it was. So I ended up getting the Sweethearts bronzer because it's pretty much one of the only bronzers I don't have from Too Faced in the Sweet Tea shade. And first of all, it's in the super cute heart-shaped packaging and it's mint. Hello, so me. And then this is a really beautiful glowy bronzer. So I think this will be really pretty on top of contour. What do you think? I think it's the perfect one for like a summery glow. So that's what I got in the mail today. Actually, I also got, gravitate over here. I also got some pants in from Express. The Columnist Studio Stretch Barely Boot Cut. I got like four pairs because I desperately needed work pants. So yeah, I ordered those off of line. They had some kind of deal where it was like buy one, get one for 30. They're usually like $70, I think. And then I also had a coupon for get $50 off 100. So I did get a really good deal on these. And I really like the quality of them. Hey guys, so I just filmed my empties video. I'll show you the madness that's before me at the moment. Um, if you're wondering if you ever see why is there a lamp on your floor, Melissa, that is because I don't have another nightstand on the other side to put that lamp on, hence why it sits there for now. So I do want to say that I got out early today, which was awesome from work. My office manager is super cool and I love where I work right now. But anyways, because I got out a little early, I got to film for you guys. Um, I do want to say, since my decor is behind me, I really want to do a, what, what's in my bag? What am I talking about? I want to do a house tour for you, especially before other people do house tours on YouTube because I've noticed, I wasn't going to say anything, but I've noticed that some have been kind of copying me. And that's, I mean, I'm totally flattered, but I wish that people would mention and say that they were inspired by me if they were. That's great. I love when you guys say that you're like going out to get my bed or you're going out to get a certain piece because you loved it and want it for your home too. But I would really appreciate, especially if someone puts it on their channel and makes it as their own, I would really appreciate them to be like, and I was inspired by Melissa because it's like very, very clear that they were, but they're not saying that they were. And that's a pet peeve of mine. Like when someone sees something on your channel and then they take it for their own, I don't like that. Give credit where it's owed and I always try to do that. So yeah. So and if you guys would like a house tour, even though my house is nowhere near done being decorated, let me know and I'll do that sometime soon for you guys. Hey guys, we're at Blimpy's. We're really pumped because we don't have any in our area anymore. And we came down to Scott's sale today and we got a Blimpy's. Yummy, yummy. I'm with Mama B. You want to say hi? <laughs>